Good morning, STBNs. It's indeed a matter of great pleasure and pride for me to address the young and budding students and the staff at STBA. Today, I'll be talking to you about the Indian Armed Forces. First, a few words about myself. I am Dr. Colonel SPS Bedi. I served the Indian Army for 26 years, a multinational company for 5 years and then for 18 years I have been director of four different leading business schools of Northern India. These days I am teaching at University of Manitoba in Canada. Today I will be speaking to you about Indian Armed Forces. When I was a child, I had a dream to join the Indian Army and I left no stone unturned to make my dream come true and I am glad that I made that choice. Those days not many professions were available. You could either be an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher or could join the Indian Defence Services or the Indian Administrative Services. Every profession offers you lot of uh, choices, lot of advantages and uh, drawbacks. But the advantages that Indian Armed Forces offer you are far better than many other professions. Safety, honor and welfare of your country comes first, always and every time. The honor, welfare and comfort of the men you command come next. Your own ease, comfort and safety comes last always and every time, said Field Marshal Sir Philip Chetwood. This is the motto of the Indian Military Academy at Dehradun. As I said earlier, all professions have their own peculiarities, advantages and drawbacks. But what needs to be done is that you have to carry out a self-analysis and identify what you love to do. If you do what you love to do, obviously your performance will be par excellence. Indian Armed Forces offer you an unparalleled career as young boys and girls who are physically and mentally alert, those who love adventure, those who wish to serve their motherland, those who wish to be an all-rounder doing well in academics, sports, adventure, creativity, innovation and of course ultimately in the profession. You can join in National Defence Academy on completion of your class 12th examination. After that, you have to appear for your UPSC entrance examination, which if you qualify, you have an interview call at the service selection boards. And if you qualify the interview, you get your medical examination done. And thereafter, a merit list is prepared. Those who come within the merit list up to the given number of vacancies available, they'll get the call letter to join the National Defense Academy. When you're serving, when you're being trained at the Indian Military Academy, you get your degree of graduation on passing out. And when you are attending various courses while in the Indian Armed Forces, you get various diplomas and degrees which keep your educational qualification update. You become a first class gusted officer right on your passing out in your early 20s and have all the chances to rise up to the rank of Chief of the Defence Staff or Chief of the Army, Navy or Air Force. So you have unlimited opportunities for promotions. Inspiration and motivation in the Army is ultimate. That enables the officers to lay down their lives for the mother country. It happens in no other profession than the Indian Defence Services. Ultimate 
inspiration and your motivation. Your uh, profession offers you unlimited opportunities to rise in your uh, rank and stature. You join as a second lieutenant, you can retire to be the chief of the army staff, chief of the naval staff or chief of the air staff. All depends on your attitude. If your attitude is that of learning, if your attitude is that of excelling, of, of course, in due course, you, your altitude will be known to the people. So your alt attitude now will decide your altitude later. You get a lot of respect as an army officer or as an air force or naval officer. People look at you at great sense of pride and respect, not only during the war time, but also in the peace time. Army is known to provide help in aid to the civil authority, whether it is during the disorders or natural calamities. Adventure in defense services is ultimate. You have all kinds of terrain available in, in the country, starting from the forests in the northeast, the high altitude areas in the north, the deserts in the west and the plain area elsewhere. You can fight all types of terrain. You can survive in plus 50 or minus 50 temperature. That is the kind of physical strength that you have while you are serving the defense of services. Your physical fitness and sports act activities in the armed forces keep you fit forever. Even uh, after retirement, you would have seen army officers lead a very healthy and fit, physically fit life. You have number of sports available to you. Besides the normal sports, you also have the golf, tennis, squash, you can play ice hockey, whatever you want. All this is available to you. You draw a very decent salary package and you have a number of perks and privileges like your accommodation, your CSD facilities, your hospitalization facilities, medical facilities, facilities for your children, large number of other privileges. Your families are very well looked after. When the soldiers are posted to field areas, their families are given separated family accommodation. They are well looked after in terms of administration. Children can go to the central schools which are available in various cantonments. Canteen facilities and the, and the hospital facilities are free for the dependents of the army officers. Not only while in service, but even after you retire, you are being uh, trained by the army while you are in service for that inning after retirement. You are sent to various courses. You, you can take a study leave and carry out your uh, further uh, studies in management or in technology so that you become fit enough to join a second inning after you retire. And most of the army officers, air force officers, naval officers on their retirement pick up very good services uh, elsewhere in civil. You have enjoyment unlimited in the army. You have your officer messes, you have your clubs and uh, the, the brotherhood that uh, exists, the social life that you enjoy, people envy that uh, life. Even after retirement, at the age of 70, 80 and 90, the army officers meet each other with great pride and love for each other. The camaraderie that exists in defense services is generally not seen in other professions. You get a lot of honors and awards when you excel during the peacetime or war time. And these awards are not only a matter of pride for the soldiers and the nation, but also have financial implications and advantages to the awardees. Now coming to the qualifications to join the National Defense Academy, you have to be between the age of 16 to 19 at the commencement of your course. You, you must have passed your class 12th examination to be able to join the National Defense Academy. 
your height has to be minimum 157 centimeter and for the Air Force it is 162.5 centimeter. For Gurkhas and Northeast region uh, residents, there is a concession of 5 centimeter in height. Your weight has to be corresponding to your height. For that, you will have to refer to the height weight chart. Only 10% variation is acceptable on the higher side. Your chest has to be minimum 87 centimeters with minimum 5 centimeter expansion. Your distant vision and myopia have to be within the acceptable limits. Medical standards for Indian Navy and Air Force are little tougher. You'll have to refer to these medical requirements before you apply for Navy or Air Force. The procedure is that when you are studying in class 12th, side by side prepare for entrance examination for NDA and uh, appear for the UPSC examination. Once you qualify this examination, you will be sent a call letter from a service selection board. These service selection board interviews include your intelligence test, your psychological test, your group dynamics, physical endurance test, your interviews, that is group interview and final interview. And finally, a merit list is made. And if you your name appears well in, well in the merit list, you will be getting a call letter to join the Defense Services Academy. To conclude, I would say Indian Armed Forces offer an enviable choice to young and budding candidates aspiring to serve the nation in a unique manner. Come, join the best profession today and forever. All the best. Thank you.